Explicit content warning, mature audiences only. The language and content uttered by these two knuckleheads may be sexually explicit, profane, controversial, etc. and is not to be taken literally, but only in a satirical and comical context. Viewer discretion is advised. What? <laughs> um, it's fucking stuck to me. Stop. <laughs> Please Ooh. get off. Is that real? Yeah, yes. Real. Yeah. Shit, that's fucked up. One time I had it in my in my door, I mean in my fucking car. And I had it in, like you know in, where you have a um, Puda man, Puda. The water holders. Mm-hmm. I literally I the thought cup I, holder. Wait, what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> the cup holder. The, the cup holder, yeah. The water holders. Yes. I, I, I literally had that joint in there and I gra- and I thought I had mm-hmm. my water bottle and I grabbed it. Yeah. Did you cry? <clears throat> Did you get Did a whole bunch of freak out? Did you think like there was like an animal in there? Nah, it was I was just like ah! You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like, yeah. yeah that, shit, that shit is scary. Yeah, bro. You didn't have an instant cutaneous response? Nah. Your proprioception wasn't working that well? Yeah, it wasn't. My my brain nerves weren't connected at that point. Yeah, the, so, the alpha murder. Uh, I, think, I think actually. Actually, my, the, the gamma motor neuron. Yeah, I think it was confused with um, dopamine and, and, no. and my, my testosterone turning on. And, like, I thought I was orgasming. So, I actually mm-hmm. first, like, kind of came a little bit mm-hmm. when I grabbed the... Yeah. the cacti yeah. yeah so like your pleasure yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so like yeah. your sensory your sensory receptors aren't like they weren't like they weren't connected. they're not connected right. in the right yeah. way yeah. Yeah. it's like pleasure is 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 connected with like pain, pain. A lot of pain. yeah you inflict yourself on purpose yeah so then pain is with pleasure um, yeah wait. I think wait, 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 wait we need to call somebody yeah <laughs> vice versa yeah wait. but um but yeah, guys, welcome to Brig Zone, Woo. episode 45. Woo! 45 and already, as you can what the fuck? See, this is going to be a back to back guest now. Yes. And, yes. Uh, we have here the Brody. Global Asian. Global, Global Asian. Asian. Let's give it up. Global Asian. So is it Global Asian or Global Asian? Um. People say global Asian, you know. Oh really? I like uh-huh. I like global Asian. I, Asian I is tough. Like Wait, but is is Asian the right thing though? No. It it's is an a, acronym, right? It's a it's an acronym for Asian, you know. Oh, oh really? For that's, Asian. Kinda, that's kinda the idea. We know when I first came up with the name. Okay. Actually it was a joke at first. Yeah, it was it was actually a joke coming up with Asian because actually um I used to play a lot of video games and uh it required to have like a bunch of clans, you know what I mean? And like mm. one of the clan was Asian Pride. Mm. And so when I was coming oh. up with a name for my, you know, we were talking about this. Uh, I just said, "Yo, AZN, bro, AZN. like Asian." And he was like, "True." He was like, "Yo, he go down." He was like, "That's that has a nice ring to it." And she hey. did that. Well, we didn't agree to it, but then he dropped the music and he just put my name as AZN. So mm-hmm. I was like, "Wait, so are you Asian?" I am Asian. Yeah. From where? I'm Indonesia. From Indonesia. Indone- Indone- I'm half Indonesian, half Iranian. So, oh really? Uh, You're half Iranian? Yeah. Oh damn! I didn't know that. I mean, I don't know. My, this mix confuses a lot of people. Wow. Can't really pinpoint where I'm from. Wow. Like, you gonna take the ancestry.com jump? You know what? I haven't. Would you do it though? I would do it. That was pretty. I would be. I would do it. I want to know mean, if bro, I'm like, yeah, like Egyptian or yeah, like you know, I can use it in conversation. Cambodian, you know. I mean? I can, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be tough. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. So this is uh, welcome, Oasian. Welcome, welcome, He's buddy. He's uh, artist dear friend of mine and uh son boyfriend <laughs> and walker viber sprinter maybe. sprinter mm-hmm. sometimes driver jimmer yeah. sometimes sometimes hits the gym mm-hmm. i don't know he water be lacking, drinker though. eater me i've been la- <laughs> i don't know about that i don't know about that side eye side no i know i know he 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 be on it but um calisthetic king right here bar brothers bar brothers, bar brothers. yeah yeah so actually that's basically how you and i met pretty much is just through just like work working out. out yeah 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 um, i remember you came you came all the way out to uh rockville at like yeah. six in the morning bro funny <laughs> thing enough actually first time i met him bro was the first time i got into an accident like well on my so on my way to his house i fucking i was off like two hours of sleep and like it was my first time driving in rockville and it was like i was like a month in my license and I fucking basically I'm driving and like so I think you know when has, has there ever been any roads where it says do not enter but like do you ever like it's like right in the middle so it's like which one is the do not enter has you have you ever is that just me 
Yeah. No, okay. All right. Yeah. No, actually, I think I know. Okay. All right. Anyway, so I thought I literally thought I was going in the wrong. Like I was going into the do not enter zone, uh-huh. but I was going the right. But I thought I wasn't. So then I was like, I did. I did a quick like shift, and then there was a fucking like rape van right next to me, and I fucking I I kissed that zone, and then um. It was just your mirrors, though, right? No, I, nothing even. I mean, it was just a little like dent. There's still a dent there in on like the. Mm-hmm. The right side is always the right side, brass mm-hmm. snap, and then um yeah, if I can just stop that at the at the gas station with the homie, and uh, dude was like Brazilian or some shit, couldn't even speak English, <laughs> and and um bro, I was so I was actually shitting myself, dog, and the dude fucking, so I didn't even know what to do, so I just I just told the dude I was like, damn, bro, I mean my bad, dog, and then like, <laughs> and then uh it is what it is, bro. I didn't even, bro. <laughs> it I is what it is, bro. Bro, I didn't even. My bad. Think, I didn't even think of asking him for an insurance. I was just like, fuck. I was like, shit. What do I do, bro? You it's know, your what first saying? time too, right? Yeah, bro. And then like, Damn. and then fucking um, so, so then I'm just like, oh, so what do we do? And he's like, oh, you got money? And then I'm like, fuck, man. I'm like, he's like, he's like, I'm like, how much? And and he's like, three hundred. And literally, bro, if I had the $300, I would have gave it to him. But I didn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I like, come to find out. And then um, our mutual friend mm-hmm. comes and, and and comes to the rescue. And then, um, and then yeah. And then, he still pulled up that morning, though. Yeah. yeah. But then, uh, funny enough, come to find out, homie, that dude didn't even have insurance. So I was straight. Oh. So nothing even happened. Oh, yeah. Damn, See, that's that's, like, that's he, what, boy, obviously. That's why bro. he was asking for cash. That's why yeah. he was asking for cash. Because if, if he had insurance, he has more to gain through insurance. Because it was my fault. Yeah. 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 He has more to gain through insurance. Well, I mean, honestly, nobody has anything to gain. Through. I mean, but like, he will get, like, he'll make more. There's potential. Yeah. yeah. You always want to go through insurance because that's just safer. Don't you also, aren't you supposed to call the cops, too? Or, I mean, you have to. You not, don't have not, to call the really, cops. If, it's if only if it's like major, though, right? If you're communicating nah. properly with them, like, oh, yeah, bro, you don't, don't, yeah, you don't have to call the cops. Okay. Some people right. just say, so, you know, like, real quick. Like, it's like a Karen lady. They just like, oh, they call the cops real quick. Just yeah. like, they're scared <laughs> yeah. to see a minority or some shit. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel unsafe. God, for, <laughs> God forbid it's a fucking. It's me with my full mustache. Yeah. And no, luckily you bumped into a dummy. <laughs> you know, luckily yeah. you bumped into a dummy, too. Yeah. Well, wait, are you working at at King Farm, right? Yeah, we were, but I think when you when you first came, yeah, it was just it was it was like I have this park across yeah. my house, and then we just went there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so but then we made it to like King Farm because a lot of people were living in Germantown. It was like the perfect middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle. middle ground. Yeah, but yeah, no, that's just cool how how we met through that, like working yeah. out and. Uh, but yeah, I didn't even know at the time. But you were you're you're an artist, or what would what would you say like is your? Would you just say your number one is like you, you know when people ask you what do you do like do you say. I'm an artist, I guess, you know, make music. <laughs> Easy. That's that's how I would, I would respond to it. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Dope. And uh, how long you been doing it now? So, I started making music in late 2017. Mm. But I had been freestyling, you know, with my homie, mm-hmm. uh, Global Dan. Yeah. For like... 2015 you know what i mean it was just um, like uh it was just a thing we around do every time we like smoke some weed or some shit yeah you know, freestyle <laughs> um but it was not until uh yeah late of 2017 when i started writing um because of uh global dan so shout out to global dan shout out global dan and uh he, he was the one that kind of taught me how to like write a bar like he was like yo this is how what a bar should be mm. you know what i mean or uh, what's a hook what's a okay, verse yeah, yeah. you know and he kind of challenged me to like start writing and then the first song i ever wrote was in his in his room he gave me like a beat and he was like i'll be right back to start writing to this and then he came back and then i had it ready and then i just like spit it to him and he was like all right bet we're recording tomorrow Yo. i was like okay i was like all right bet i didn't expect anything by the way this is like something that just came to me you know like yeah. an opportunity so we went to uh record the next day and i didn't expect anything of it mm-hmm. but once i record that that verse um i heard it after being mixed i was like okay oh it sounds nice bro like what? yeah like, i can see why like you're passionate about it you yeah know what I mean? but, yeah that's and um correct me if i'm wrong though i think you told me that you, you went to high school with dan or no i went to elementary school with him oh elementary yeah, school we go damn. Way back, damn damn yeah shit but like we separated after middle school because i went i moved oh. um, after elementary school and then we uh, just went to different schools and 
Did you, know, you kept in contact or? We had our, like, you know, I had his contacts, but uh-huh. like, you know, when you're young and you don't have a way to get to an area, you're just so caught up in like your own separate lives. Yeah. So like for four years, you know, we kind of like didn't talk. And okay. It was until like, we find each other through Instagram and then he hit oh. me up. Oh, oh shit. He's like, yo, let's link up. Like, you know, Jeez. we haven't seen each other in a minute, but he was my neighbor at the time in elementary school. Oh. So he would take me to, uh, from school. Like his mom would take me home all mm-hmm. the time. And that's how we were like. Y'all were, was close. That was that was brothers. Yeah, yeah. That's Wait, so how old are you? How old are you? Now I'm 26. I just turned 26 last December. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, where'd you, and you went to what high school? I went to Rockville High. Oh, Rockville. Yeah. Oh, so you you're there older than me. A lot yeah. of you guys are older than me. How old are you? I'm only 22. About to be 23 soon, like okay. next month. Yeah. yeah but um, you can't, I can't tell, bro. You look young, bro. Well, he just shaved recently too. I mean, I look. I mean, that's coming from me. My little baby face ass, but yeah. Like, <laughs> when I shave, I look like I'm yeah, like you, twenty. Right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Damn. But so, what were you doing before you like before Dan was like, "Yo, record right now." Like, what were you doing like at that uh, moment? I was working at a brokerage firm selling insurance, mm. and uh, just in sales. That was kind of like my my mm. thing, you know, like mm-hmm. business sales marketing okay so i was doing that for like two years you know mm-hmm. you went to school for it no nah, i just oh, um, did? i just went to i went to somebody who like wanted to mentor me and mm. then he kind of like taught me the ropes mm-hmm. gave me some like books to read you know all these mm-hmm. different th- things and that um but before that i've always like since i was like 17 i picked up my first book called uh rich dad poor dad oh yeah and that's what introduced me to the idea of like becoming a becoming a boss you know what i mean mm-hmm. and, and yeah. um you know kind of making money work for you type of thing so yeah i went i went through a lot of different adventures like you know uh and ventures ventures and- like before um working with the insurance company uh-huh. and um yeah that's when i that's when like dan introduced me to like music and stuff when i was working over mm. there yeah but so like damn so uh so it was that it was that self-help book that was the that was the what made you decide like i'm gonna just do this shit on my own like i want to just because it was always because it was always kind of entrepreneur type of shit that you that you wanted to do yeah right? man it started out with like because i used to play football in high school right yeah and so uh y'all were tough huh y'all were tough Nah, we weren't. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm like, we're not, we're not tough. But hey. yeah, like when I was in high school, like I was playing football. You know, when you're in high school, that's like your purpose, right? Like you don't have anything yeah. else outside of nothing that. Right? Matters. Oh, yes. Nothing else matters <laughs> until I got injured. You know, oh. when I got injured, my whole senior year, I didn't get to play, and I didn't want to like sit on the sidelines knowing that mm-hmm. it's my last year. I'm not gonna get to play at all. So um, that's when I that's when the book came to me, right? Oh. It was like almost the perfect time. Like, yeah. I had time to like reflect, and that's when I started thinking like, "Damn, what do I want in life?" You know what I mean? Oh, like, I don't really, it... I don't, I don't really ask myself that question. What do I really want? Yeah. And um, and if and like I'm not really good in school. Like I was kind of self aware of that. Like yeah. I, I I was like not the best student. Yeah. You know what I mean, um, one because I wasn't really interested in the what they're fucking talking about. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Um, yeah. But in the book, I remember it was you know the difference between like rich dad and poor dad mm-hmm. you know all the different mindsets and i was reflecting that book with the current system that i'm in mm-hmm. you know in school i was like i don't want to do that you yeah, know what i mean like, I like this that. is this is the route you know that mm-hmm. he tells me not to go you know what i mean oh, and yeah. that's kind of like the journey that began for uh for me as like you know being an entrepreneur true yeah Damn. yeah I you, never guys, read you, guys, book. you guys got that self-awareness early bro you guys asked yourself that question of like what do i want to do beyond high school I mean, you guys were thinking about that earlier than I was, bro. That shit hit me way, like, in college, huh? Really? It took me a while, yeah. So, like, I already had taken the steps into college, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm a, like, I'm still in that shit right now. Mm-hmm. I'm a finish and everything, but, like, damn. Thinking about beyond life, bro. I wish I did it earlier. I mean, look. you look I could have started right this shit earlier. I could have started you know? this shit earlier, you know? I feel, you know what I, what I, what I believe, though? Mm. Everything happens for a reason. Of course, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, I, I needed think, to meet this man. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, of course, of course. So definitely, yeah. and it's like the timing as well. It's like it, you, when you look back, it's always it was for yeah. A reason. When I look back, I'm able to connect. Like okay, like yeah. if that book came to me in sophomore year, I would not want to read. Yeah, it. Mm-hmm. you know what I mean. True. It was just like circumstances put you in a place to receive. Yeah, right. You know, damn. So, but like, so what were you thinking about? Like, you were you, were you still in that like high school mindset? Yeah, like, bro. <laughs> I was just going with the motions. I mean, I just like I knew I wanted to play soccer. 
So I was like, well, college, <laughs> soccer, soccer yeah. right. not going, not going D1, D3 or anything or anything like that. So fuck it, going community college. And I just did that. I was oh. like, that was the only thing that really kept me in school. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, sports. Because I, I was fucking with it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. That yeah. was really my like purpose. Actually, my the purpose is going, you know, this is, I don't tell this to a lot of people, but the reason why I like, you know, started playing football is because, uh, I, just, I was just trying to get a girl. I was yeah. trying to get like, yeah. I already knew. Or I was trying to like get back at this girl who uh, friend zoned me. Oh, and, and like I told myself I wanted abs. Like you know what yeah. I mean? And what's the best way to do that? I got to join some sort of sports, and I didn't know nothing about football, bro. For real? I just told myself. I'm gonna so when did you, when did that start? When did your villain story start? <laughs> when did you become that villain? No, it's I want the, the come up. It's the come up story. You know, yeah. no, like. It started when did that girl when that girl disrespect your ass? <laughs> That's what it was. No, wait, when was that? When was oh, that? When was like that? middle school or something? No, no, that was a uh, freshman. Freshman. Oh, okay. Because I had moved to Rockville um, after being in uh, going to this middle school that was, you know, a different district. Mm -hmm. And so I, you know, coming coming to new to Rockville, it was like mm -hmm. a brand new start for me, right? Mm -hmm. So I was making some few friends or whatever, and um, this was one girl who like I befriended. She was cool. I was into her. She was not into me in, in that in the same way, you yeah. know. What I mean? But like, I didn't know what friend zone meant or anything like that. So like, oh. I've always just like you know did everything for her. And long story short, I mean I can get into this, but long story yeah. short, <laughs> um, I was I was like I got to a point where I was like, damn, I gotta stop being a fucking simp, bro. Yeah. I gotta just take care of myself first of all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And bro, once I did that, it took me only six months to get my body right and like, damn. Not to tweak my own horns, but like. The girls that I was trying to introduce myself in freshman year uh -huh. didn't know who I was in sophomore year. Mm -hmm. And that was like a, a shift for me, you know what Damn. I mean? And, I, and like obviously like the self-esteem came with it and yeah. I feel like that's when, uh, I don't know, like I just started changing a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. like you started to develop that self-confidence. Self-confidence yeah. and I started valuing different things. I started valuing like myself more than trying to like, mm. trying to get a girl, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And once I did that, once I started working on myself, like, Girls came to yeah, want to talk to me, you know, and I was like, damn, I guess. Sheesh. It's crazy. It's crazy how naturally as men, I feel like the number one thing that motivates us or like, we, yeah, or, or we attribute our purpose to is like trying to get a girl, you know, or like having that like yes. satisfaction that we can have these girls or yeah, something like that, girl. you know. And I don't know why, like we chase that shit so much and we don't like think about anything else. Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like it's instinct low key. Yeah. Right? No, I think it's because also like in high school, there's like a socialization happening where mm -hmm. it's like you see your friends getting girl. Like, oh shit! Yeah. Pop popular yeah. was like the currency. True. Pop yeah. You know, yeah. being, popular, being popular, being known, yeah. or like having that badge on next to you. It's it's that's yeah. your form of currency, you know, and mm -hmm. that's yeah. the thing we value. So I think as you grow, social status. <laughs> yeah, bro. As you as you grow, your value changes. So, Damn. That's how, yeah. Shit. I mean, at least you at least you only let yourself simp for like. Like a year. Well, how long was it? <laughs> how long was it for? That you, were you was you were simp for like a couple months probably. It was a full year, my full freshman year. You were you would say you were a simp for a whole year. Yeah, basically. I was really just trying to get oh uh, you know get her and she yeah. would, you know tell me she loves me. Get her gifts and shit. Pause yeah. as a brother. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yo, it was bad. I mean, I, Fuck, man. I, I can get into details, but no, nah, no need, no I need. Don't I mean, there, I mean, know? I know there's many, many guys. <laughs> of course, not not including me, but you know. There's many, many, many men out there who, who experience the the deep depths and, and the sorrow and agony of <clears throat> being in the friend zone. Hey, you know, the funny thing is, though, yeah. the funny thing is, like, after <laughs> after that year changed, right, like, like uh, uh, sophomore year, junior year, yeah. when I started, like, changing myself, it's funny because she started having a crush on me, you know, mm -hmm. and um, she wanted to be more than friends, and I, and I was like... Well, I want to be friends now. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to stay friends. Like, I wasn't really into her at that point. Yeah. Funny enough, yeah. right? Yeah. So, Damn. Yeah. It's the classic cliche. Yeah. Yeah. Story. Fuck these up. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I mean, yeah. that that's dope though, bro. That's dope though. So now, like, what's um, where would you say uh, is like the goal for you now? Like, now that you've come to like realize, like, is is being an artist now what you feel like is where you are meant to be at? Well. I believe like there's things that come to you like opportunities and stuff mm -hmm. but I wouldn't say like my my purpose is just to become an artist mm -hmm. you know um, I came to realize like within myself that 
life is bigger than what we think it is yeah. you know what i mean and more than material shit mm -hmm. and uh you know the very first purpose i had when i started my entrepreneurial journey mm -hmm. right was to retire my mom you know mm -hmm. wanted to like oh, yeah. <clears throat> wanted to like retire her so she doesn't have to work um a day job or whatever yeah and so as i grow older like i start to shift my value and like like i want I want to I want to like leave off a legacy like you know what I mean if I die mm -hmm. what am I leaving off yeah, you know what yeah. I mean and I like to think I like to kind of um, operate in that that mindset, mindset yeah you know mm. so, so so it's just like whatever comes but like right now it's like you're focusing mainly on like music right now mm -hmm. yeah building um, you know my career through music mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then um, I have like obviously like different goals in, yeah in that, you know what I mean mm -hmm. um, but I also have my business, you know, on the side as well yeah. that I'm trying to build. So, mm. what's that? Digital marketing. Oh damn! So I help uh, business owners scale their business oh, okay. ten mm. times. Yeah, with you know, with different strategies and stuff like that. That's fire. Yeah. What if you like incorporated the music with the oh, digital marketing? I thought about that for like, sure. Like, what if you like were just like, because like, what do you mainly focus? Like, what what's the type of companies that you mainly um, focus on with the digital? So, it depends on the niche so like it's very niche focused so mm -hmm. right now i'm focusing on auto detail oh really so i'm, oh. I'm, I'm looking to partner with uh with shiners you know yeah, yeah, yeah. focusing on trying to drive and scale that business shout out shiners by the way shout out shiners. best best detailing company and yes. uh look up shiners yes best yeah. get you right yep um but before that i was working with hvac companies mm -hmm. helping right. them drive customers and you know driver uh driving like acquisitions to their business and stuff oh so, true yeah yeah no i don't know i just thought it'd be funny like imagine if you like what if you just like i don't know like incorporated music oh definitely <laughs> most like the reason i mean it's cool because like what i'm doing it can correlate to music you know because like as an artist mm -hmm. unfortunately we live in a in an era that music is not enough True. You have to brand yourself. You have to. Oh, yeah. You yeah. have to put yourself out there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. And there's different ways to do that. So, uh, I can definitely incorporate. You know, my marketing strategies in into music. Mm -hmm. You know, in different because there's so many different ways to, to market. About it, you know what I mean. True. But, you can do it like in a more creative way that no one has done it. Oh yeah. It's funny because like yet or today is gonna actually upload. But like I was telling you, we had a, a, another guest on for this past one, and he's like a videographer slash like photographer. Yeah. So like we were, he's like really into music, and that's mainly where he's trying to like, uh, I guess, grow in. Okay. And he was talking about, um, remember he was mentioning on like doing like kind of BTS type of footage for yeah. artists and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like we were saying, for example, I said as a joke, like imagine getting a, a video of like Gunna eating a, a burger or some shit like at McDonald's. Uh -huh. But like it's like people want to see like. Day day. you know the fans like want to see just that real like that raw shit yeah you know i guess i don't know i mean i mean you're you're the artist as well so like you know that's um, definitely a good idea yeah. i think uh i think like a lot of people want to get an insight of like yeah you know what what do artists do on a daily basis yeah mm -hmm. i mean that's what this was for low-key yeah, too yeah. that's why i wanted because like have you ever done like a sort of i guess like interview type of style like thing or so no? i've done like a voice interview Never oh. like a camera interview. Oh, where yeah. How long was that, John? It was like 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Where he, we go back and forth. He asked me a lot of questions about my career and stuff. And, yeah. Um, you know, different things like that. But this is now, nah, this is the first time I've been on, hey. been on camera. So. Yeah, so shit. I mean, yeah. we're, I mean we're it's only, an honor. Yeah, hey, it's an honor for us. Thanks, cause, man. Cause, we appreciate uh, that. Whenever, you know, your fans you want to look at you or look back even, like, who knows? You know what I'm saying? It's like. This is uh, who you were in uh, 2022. Castle, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I look at it. This is the time. Exactly, bro. Yeah. That's literally one of the main reasons why I still fucking want to continue to do this shit. Because we're on like a year now. And I look back to who I was a year ago, bro. I'm like, who is that guy? Bro? Yeah. Right. You know it's already saying? so different. No, I think it's, it's, an, it's amazing to uh, to just record yourself and your progress, you know? Because mm -hmm. you might not see it within like 10 days or 10 episodes. But like mm -hmm. 100 episodes in, you look back at the first one, you're like, damn. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Let me delete this one. <laughs> yeah. bro, trust me, dude. We, uh, Bro, I've had, we've had some shit like where, bro, one time, dude, I'm, I'm about to say this. <laughs> there was this one episode we recorded this one time, bro. And literally... I fucking i was it, i was just in the simp mode and i was just fucking i was just i was just um seduced by by uh you know someone and 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 i was fucked bro and yeah. only this man knows like it, it was so bad bro but 
He, he fucking scrapped the video. Yeah, I had he to scrap it, bro. Oh. I had to scrap it. He yeah. found. He tried to find every excuse to scrap <laughs> scrap that shit. He was like, "Arbet, oh yeah, um, no, yeah, the the audio file corrupted." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, but um. Oh, shit. It was like, but, oh, your shoulder uh, was cut out. We <laughs> nah, you should have kept that in, bro. Because then, like, you look back, you look back at it, and you're like, damn, this bro. man. You should have kept it at least, like, private or something. Nah, dude. So then you can just look nah, back because on then it. What and if, like, like, look at this dummy. Like, at yourself, though. Nobody else would yeah. find it. <sighs> nah, bro. I think if I, ever, if, I, if I were to watch that joint right now, I probably would, like, just... No way. I, no, I said, no, no, I'm just kidding. No bro. way. But, it's all uh, extreme. <laughs> yeah, bro, but... Um, it's like you told me one on the time capsule, you know? Yeah. You oh, see that shit. I, I think I did see that, the time capsule. You didn't see that? Nah, nah, nah. I never watched Zoe 1. I watched Victoria. You didn't watch Zoe 1? Nah, 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 did nah, you nah. watch Zoe 1? Yeah, I did, I did. But did you watch the time capsule one where they, they made, like, a little thing, and then he chased fucking dedicated... They were gonna open it in like twenty years or some shit or like forty years. I don't even know. It was a long period of time though. It was not like no five year, two year shit. Damn. And then like he dedicated like a whole like love letter or something. I don't know. Made like a video or some shit, just uh, professing his love. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And then he wanted to uh, dig it out. Oh, okay. oh shit. Damn. Then they made another follow up video later on, like when they were older. And uh-huh. then, like yeah. Oh shit. And then, yeah. Damn, and then he, they, he tried seeing that. They saw what he said and shit. It's yeah. up. I think I remember that episode. Actually. I'm not hip. So that's how I feel. <laughs> that's crazy. Shit. I feel like sometimes you're such in a zone and state of mind where if you were to see something that long, like a 20 year time period, that's you look back and be like, you wouldn't even recognize it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'd be like, you wouldn't even remember doing that shit. Nah. That's You'd insane. be like, what the hell? But you did it. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn. You know, they say uh, every five years, <clears throat> you're like a brand new person. For real? Like mentally, but also skin? physically. Like, oh, yeah. Our cells are always For sure. changing. Oh, yeah. So it's, they say, like, within five years, Damn. like, you're a whole new person. Yeah, metamorph, like a, like a fucking butterfly. <laughs> metamorphosis. Exactly. Yeah. Metamorphosis. Yeah. Metamorphosis. Yeah. yeah. Now you evolve. Worst, right? <laughs> Damn. No, yeah, because you can devolve too. Bro. Devolve, exactly. Bro, think about that, that concept, though. Like, imagine if humans, like, actually could do that. Like, what if we could just get out of this shell, this body, like, human body, and become a new like, like a physical form like yeah. Mr. Krabs from that one episode I don't know, if you know which one I need to stop talking about fucking show <laughs> I don't fucking know you don't know Spongebob Mr. Oh. Krabs when he gets old and he has to like get out of his little like oh skin. shit yeah. and he looks like fucking like yeah. the chicken nugget batter the pink yeah, junk exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about naked mole rat yeah that's what, that's what I'm saying yeah good up dude I mean that's insane what? bro cause that's God's work, metamorphosis, like being a fucking um, caterpillar turned yeah. into a butterfly. Like imagine being a land animal and then now you can fly. That's insane, bro. I mean, you think about it, we kind of are, we are, yeah. like, you know? True. We we're just a tiny little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sperm cell. That's insane. Yeah. Bro, I went down a rabbit hole <laughs> on like Instagram video. Like this one dude, he just posts like his snakes. He's like pythons, but you know pythons are like can have really really nice like patterns and like oh yeah, and be like fluorescent, like neon green and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So he has like a collection, bro. He has so many, and they're so nice. They look like Kool Aid colors. Like they're oh, literally shit. that bright. Of the shed. Like, yeah, and then the so he has one video of it just like shedding its skin off, and it was just like pleasing, bro, because he like zoomed in really far. Damn. And you just see it and how like its scales were even glistening and stuff. It was so wow. beautiful. Wow. Sheesh. Stuff. rabbit holes bro that's insane. the things you'd be falling into that guy's famous now just for that wow he gets to just live his life t- touching the snakes yeah mm-hmm. filming snakes yeah touching touching them and stuff you know who uh the real tarzan is i think is his name on instagram i who, uh, is he the black he's, dude he's a small yeah I know he's black dude. yeah he, I know just, he just records like animals and sh- well not records but he like helps uh-huh. like you know his main thing is like being around animals and stuff. Yeah. But like, I mean, it's cool because he actually really like cares about animals and like he wants to help. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, is it the alligator dude? Nah. The crocodile hunter? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. That dude is he's long dead. dead. <laughs> dude, nah, nah. There's a dead. new one. There's a new guy. I don't know. There's a new guy. New crocodile. Oh, no that white dude. He's a little On fat. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. I now he, he gets he, so close to him. Yeah. I don't know. He has his own little thing. He's in like Florida. He like knows like all like the Phase members and stuff. I used to watch him off off the Phase Clan. Oh shit. really? Oh, yeah. He head. used to like do videos with them, but now, he, or maybe he's in like California. I don't fucking know. Shit. But he's like this white dude. He has like a fucking his own little mini exotic reptilian zoo or something. Damn. Whoa. He has hella like anacondas, pythons. He has he has like videos of him just laying in big old bunches of like hundreds of snakes but like fat ass 
boa constrictors and shit, bro. Like huge. I don't. I don't know. He's wild. And then yeah, he fucking plays with alligators and shit. I don't know. He's what funny. I, I, I like that stuff. That stuff's interesting. Cause animals are cool. They are. And cool. seeing motherfuckers like play with like dangerous one like animals <laughs> as if it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I want. I just want them to like. They have to fuck up at least one point. You know what I'm saying? They're oh, getting. Yeah. At least, they're getting bit. I mean, at least at one point, bro. There's no way you're yeah, about to play with animals yeah. that are fucking deadly and instinct to fucking eat. Yeah, no, nah, dude, I'm yeah. sure to have, like, their kind of, their instinct, like, I mean, you know, like, skateboarders, they have to, you know, you gotta fall a couple times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not perfect, bro. You like, know? they're definitely wiggling some, like, meat, and then they get their finger or yeah, something, Yeah, right? I mean, sadly, Crocodile Hunter, Steve exactly. Irwin. Especially the snake handlers, like, they be wild, bro. Like, they get so yeah, comfortable, bro. like, you know. The best yeah. dudes are the fucking Indian dudes, bro. Those guys are the best ones. The Indian ones? Yeah, the ones that be just oh, oh yeah, those guys yeah. are dogs. They just be smacking them. <laughs> bro, you should get one. You of, see those videos? You should get um. Oh shit, is that a bad thing? Nah, nah, you straight. You should. You should get one of those dudes, and on like to record for you. You know what I'm saying? Like get like the one of the the, the snake recorders. Oh, the snake yeah, recorders. Yeah, imagine that. Just tracks. like to like psychologically fucking like get someone locked in on, on your music. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like hypnotize. <laughs> yeah. Hypnotize them. Yeah. Bro, that'll be fire. So so what would you say is your is your like type of like music? Like what would you call it like? Cause you're, I mean, you want to say you're a rapper, right? I would say like pop rap. Pop, okay. Yeah, pop yeah. rap. Yeah, like, um, cause I mean, I've been, I've heard your music. Who would you compare yourself to if yeah. you could, to give somebody a better reference? Yeah. Um. Or do you think I can you're give you unique? Like people I'm inspired by. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely inspired by The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, definitely inspired by like Post Post Malone. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of like well, Post Malone has like that pop rap mm-hmm. essence yeah. and then the weekend has like the r&b pop mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so those are like the two main main like ins- you know inspirations for me yeah um you know definitely juice world you know oh yeah, yeah, yeah. juice r.i.p r.i.p um, yeah so this his a, birthday like just passed i think uh, really uh, december in december yeah, yeah december it was like a couple of days after my birthday man. Oh, really? oh damn yeah but but yeah what about uh, drake Definitely Drake. Yeah, Drake definitely Drake. is one of my inspirations. Like, I look up to him in, in the sense of his versatility. True. Yeah. You know, and his ability to just record. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of people that say like, "Oh, people, you write people write your shit." Mm-hmm. I mean, people can write your shit, but it's how you deliver at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. Like, you can respect his delivery. That's true. Nah. And his consistency. You're nah. going. You're you're facing Drake. <laughs> Hater right now, my guy. <laughs> really? Why? Why yes. do you hate him, bro? Because he does that dumb shit, bro. What? What dumb shit? Bro, he steals from like artists that aren't exactly there yet. You know what I'm saying? And he can he like exactly. He's an innovator. He's good at what he does and like, he's versatile. So he can take that shit and make it his own, like as if it's his own now. You mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And it kind of discredits the the little guy that comes up. I mean, I'm just, you know, what happened to X and yeah, shit, like yeah, that yeah. dumb shit. Oh, I mean, yeah. not even just him, though. There's other instances of him stealing from other like people all the time. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, to each their own. I mean, he makes good music, clearly. Mm-hmm. Like, people put him on the pedestal. He's up there for a reason. Yeah. He's been around for that long. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I just think that it takes a little bit of his, like, you know, just take a little bit of credit away because he do be taking people's like sound and shit. But I mean, I mean, yeah, he is versatile. Like he's ta- you can't say he's not talented. That's yeah. like undeniable. I'm not gonna be like he's ass. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and be like he's not talented because he's a talented dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. I know. Like a lot of artists be doing that too. You know, mm-hmm. um, kind of taking like like a flow or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that he does. What he does a lot too is uh, he pays respect to like the OGs. Like mm-hmm. he would, he would put like uh, their cadence and stuff like that. But he makes it known, like, okay, yeah, this is for that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I think like for him, it's like, yeah, like if he could definitely get inspired by these smaller artists. But I, I agree, like he should be able to just credit them somehow, or at least like put their name out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Because the thing is, is that in general, artists they take from like, I mean, bro, nothing is original. Everyone yeah. is. Of course. Yeah. But with thinking about like just the look at me shit with X. Oh yeah. At the time it was so yeah, nobody like heard anything like that. Yeah. And then it was literally when it was on the rise and then Drake dropped that shit. True. It was like Which song it, was it again? I don't even fucking It was know, it was on his it was on the it was, I think it was called like KMT or some shit. Yeah. It was called KMT. Is it on More like Life? 
Yeah, it's on more like. It's on more like. Yeah. And you just did like, look at me. Yeah, it did, the, the flow was literally like the same. And it, it, was, it was crazy too, because X was actually still in jail at the time. Yeah, I like remember. it was literally what he was about to blow up, because he was blowing while he was, he was in jail. Yeah. And then Drake did that. And it yeah. was so obvious and blatant. It I was, was like, how, dog? It was like, nah, 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 yeah. nah, nah. It was like, nah, nah, what? Nah, nah, There's nah. nobody doing that. And all of a sudden, yeah. this thing's popping and you do it. Like, ah, oh, come on, bro. Yeah. But that's just one time. Like, I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg for real. Like, I've, I've seen that he's been doing hella shit like all the time. Even from like non rap music. You know, they take stuff from that's not yeah. even rap. I did hear, you know? I also heard actually some shit he did like with The Weeknd too. With like, I think The Weeknd like wrote the whole. Um, it was crew. It was, it was the whole he album. Wrote, the whole Take Care album, I think he wrote. The whole Take Care. He, no, the thing is, or, it was like a collaborative. Yeah. A collaborative. Oh. But he did say, mention one couple songs that like he did it, you know? Okay, yeah. But that whole project was definitely a collaborative project because at the time, The weekend was coming up, you know, in Toronto too. Yeah. So Drake, you know, his intention was trying to sign him. So he would mm. bring him to his camp and, you know, try to help. And, you know, Drake would see his talent, like how yeah. like how, how, how much talent this guy has. Damn. And, uh, I mean, you know the story, like he tried to uh, sign The weekend, but yeah. The weekend declined it because yeah. he had his own vision. Yeah. And nah, I fuck with The weekend. Yeah, I mean, that man's so I mean, now I think he's a little overplayed. For real. Bro, Way overplayed, but, I mean, he's undeniable, obviously. When I, when he first, when I first heard his shit it was like 2012 bro mm -hmm. when he was just releasing Damn. like eps mm -hmm. you know and like i remember because that was the same time that i was like i was like a sophomore year yeah that's my first time smoking weed oh shit and bro the experience that oh, i had yeah. like listening to like some something that's so different and like trying you know smoking weed for yeah. the first time damn yo i was like entranced by that's this. crazy and, yeah yeah, definitely. He's Damn, that's though. definitely a contributor to why you fuck with that man so much. Yeah, <laughs> because oh, you because yeah. you have that memory linked with him. So yeah, like that's like kind of great, you know. Oh, what and Kid Cudi, Kid Cudi, ASAP oh, Rocky, yeah. like those were the main and Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, because they all came up like yeah, that's uh, all around the, the same time. Yeah, it's all the early two thousands. That era. Yeah. I mean, early two thousand tens and stuff. Yeah, yeah bro, yeah. that is that era. Man, that was that was a good time for music. Good time. Fuck that was a good time, time for music. That's crazy. Yeah. Bro. So like. Let's say, for example, I'm gonna give you a scenario right now. Mm -hmm. So let's say, all right, I don't know if Lil Nas is, is signed to a to a a label, but let's say Lil Nas has. Let's just create an imaginary Lil Nas has his own label, right? Yeah. And let's say he, you know, because you're an independent artist right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's say, always boy, always independent, right? Yeah. So let's say, but let's oh, say this, yes. but let's say this. We ain't signed for I'll, I'll, like the label. Global AZN, like I'll give you contract five million dollars. And but if you give me thirty percent royalty of all your music, and uh, you also have to let me kiss you like whenever you drop an album, what would you say? Then that's like the the tip. That's like the extra yeah, bonus. Yeah, at just the like, end. Yeah. but you, but you, it's in fine print though. So. Every release so, party yeah. that <laughs> night. Oh, every yeah, you release party. Be his date. Yeah, every yeah. release party night, you're not <laughs> fucking a woman. That that release party oh, night, you're okay. getting fucked, my <laughs> man. So you're you're saying when, when I when I sell my soul? Yeah, basically, oh. yeah. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Like, like, no, 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 no. For real? I just feel like it's so tempting sometimes. That's why motherfuckers do it, dog. Like, when know. you're not known and, like, I'm not saying, I'm just hypothetical about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm no, hypothetical. No, no, of course. <laughs> but, like, when you're a not known dude and then you just come up and somebody just throwing you bread out the way, you know, like, fine print. You're not about to sit and read, like, a long contract you know, that's, shit. That's what happens. That's how a lot of these artists get trapped. Yeah, exactly. You know, they, they haven't seen $50,000 ever. They're being offered 100000 <laughs> They don't know mm -hmm. what that 100000 entails. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, that $100,000 is not even his money. Like, if I give mm -hmm. you $100,000 mm -hmm. uh, to sign a contract, mm -hmm. that $100,000, you mm -hmm. got to still pay me back. It's a loan. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. So they'll Damn. have, like, they'll, they'll say, like, they own a percentage of your music. Mm -hmm. So that, that percentage has to collect that 100000 And whatever, ha whatever profits that accrue after, that's your profit. Damn. But you have to first give me my hundred thousand. So like, if somebody's getting, you know, being offered four million dollars, yeah. that four million dollars is not yours, you know. So do you know any specific contracts of like people that are like trapped and like, but they're like OC contracts or not? Nah? Is yeah. that stuff not public? No, for sure. Uh, there's this one artist. He he's like one of the best freestylers back in the days. His name is King Los. You mm -hmm. heard of him? Nah. I don't think so, no. So he was coming up, you know, he he was independent. He was coming up and he was doing his thing and then he decided to sign to to uh to uh Diddy, his his label, uh what is that called? Bad uh -huh. Boys? Yeah. Bad boy. Yeah. And then he just got shelved. Like 
you don't, you never heard of heard of him afterwards, you know? Damn. Which sucked because like I don't know what he signed, um, but he has to make that money back, and if he's not releasing music or getting hot, then yeah. you're in debt. Yeah. You know, and so that's that's the first one. I mean, like I know a couple personal friends that got into it, but they were able to get out of it. Oh damn. Because damn. their music was popping, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard, especially if, if you don't have a, a lot of catalog of music, you know what mm-hmm. I mean, and you're not able to stay consistent. Um, the labels will, you know, will give you money, but they will try to get it back, you know, at what, what whatever cost, you know. Damn. So it sucks because a lot of people just, it's like they're very short-sighted, you know. Mm-hmm. They, they want to sign to something that they think is theirs when it's not. Um, and when they do get it, they spend it in the wrong way. So like if you're giving the loan a hundred thousand dollars, you're supposed to right use that hundred thousand to spend it in marketing and all these different ways to get yeah. your the brand up. Yeah. But what do they do instead? They, they cop that roly, 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 you know and saying? a dab ranch, bro. Materialistic, <laughs> bro. I'll definitely buy a couple like um like silicone acids, yeah, silicone like butts. Yeah. And like a silicone and, butt room. And uh, do some e-commerce though. <laughs> e-commerce, <laughs> not use them. But um, damn. So 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 you would never like you would you would, your your goal is to stay independent. My goal is to stay independent, like for a long haul. Now look, there's situations where you know a deal is a good deal, right? True. So there's a difference between a major label deal and an independent label deal. Oh. Because major label deals will try to get every percentage that you own, right? Whereas like an independent label will will give you some yeah. ownership. And then that's like know, YSL, and yeah, that's that's like a paper X. route, paper route. What's paper route? King, uh, young, uh, young Dolph boy. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, also, yeah. X, paper route Empire. X, X, you know, he signed to mm-hmm. Empire. Empire is an independent label, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So they give you like, they give you ownership but at the same time, giving you a platform where you can grow your music, you know. Yeah. yeah. So like, my goal to answer your question, like, is to stay as independent as long as possible until until I get an opportunity to. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe collaborate with another label, right? True, yeah, like yeah, Russ yeah. did that. Russ, Russ is like a you know one of the one of the individuals too. I didn't mention like one of my biggest inspirations yeah. in terms of business because he stayed independent for ten years. He popped off on like eleventh, twelfth year, mm-hmm. and then once once that one or two song blew up, like all the songs that you know were in the past, yeah, it was all him. Damn, you know. And so, but when he did uh, sign to a label, it was an independent label. Mm-hmm. And he his terms was, I get sixty percent of mm-hmm. all my all, all my ownership. You just give me marketing. Just just make sure that my songs are hit going to the right places, radio, like all these other things. Because that's the point of, of, of the labels, right? Is because it's so hard, like yeah. as an independent artist. Essentially, well, they essentially they run all the marketing. They put they know what's out there. Like yeah. they put everything out there. Yeah. So if you, they, also, they put you out there, yeah. bro, they pump your ass out there. Damn. It depends. It depends on like an artist artist's leverage, right? Mm. Russ couldn't couldn't say what he wanted if he didn't have mm-hmm. the fan base mm-hmm. to back it up because mm-hmm. the thing is labels like they need you you don't need them mm-hmm. and most of the time they, they make it the other way around they, they, they be like you need us yeah so we write terms right and then they throw like a couple bands at you and then it's like but it's not yours yeah just, you know what i mean it's like it's crazy bro and the thing is is i feel like it's a trap bro it's a trap, i feel like it's man. like a lot of it a lot of the artists maybe just think more short term at the time yeah that's why sure, it's so sure. easier because like I mean, I mean, shit. I but because, bro, I'm telling you, you've never seen like 100k in your yeah, life. Somebody's yeah. like telling you, "I'll give you 100k tomorrow." You're gonna be like, "All right, bet." Like, what the? True. Fuck? Yeah, You're not gonna I think about bro, it, bro. Fuck. Yeah, that's insane. Bro, yeah, man. I don't know. Honestly, shit. If I were to get into music, I feel like I would be like a indie type of alternative. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I could see you doing that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but just play like a couple like guitar, like a, like one or two riffs, and then just 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 vibe out. Yeah, vibe out. Well. Yeah, but. I don't know. I mean, what, what would you would you say like making music for you is easy or or do does it take a lot of brain power for you to like um, make a song or, or two? So it depends. Like, you know, you ever been like passionate about something and yeah, you get that you, you're you, doing the flow it, state. You, you flow state. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This man's hip. Once you once once you're in that zone, it's kind of like uh, you kind of flow, right? So like, there's times that I don't feel like writing music, and I wouldn't consider it hard because I don't like saying music is hard. Mm-hmm. Because then I'm putting in my brain that it's like it's, you can't it's, do it. It's a work. It's a task. Yeah. Versus true. like you know me going in there and be like I feel it. Let me mm-hmm. just flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But of course, definitely it takes a lot of uh, when I when I'm in it. Definitely takes like that mental energy. Patience. You know what I mean? Patience, because mm-hmm. like you'll get stuck in like a section, but you almost gotta like know your limits too. You know, mm-hmm. like because we all have like a mental capacity of of flow, yeah. right? So like strengths and weaknesses yeah like you, mm. you know when to take a break yeah i think in the beginning like i i didn't understand that so there's times i would force myself and you know i came from a background of like marketing business and so you know i came from like a a, a left side brain thinking which is like i gotta plan i gotta plan these things oh. out i gotta plan my studio sessions and shit but i came to realize creativity don't like constraints mm. you know like when you have an idea when you have like something you gotta just go mm-hmm. you know what i mean Damn. and so once I learned that, I never really planned like when I'm going to the studio, which is why uh, one of the reasons I got a studio in my, in my room. Yeah, the home studio, yeah. Because I remember those days where I was like, damn, I'm feeling like I want to record. And mm-hmm. then it takes two hours to set it up. And once I'm there, I don't feel it no more. And it's like, fuck. Shit. <laughs> you know, I hate that shit. Damn. Damn, that just kind of happened here, I think, too. Like, yeah. For real? You ever, you you be having moments where you're like, damn, I would just love to to be to the record yeah. a podcast right now. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I'd be like, damn, I wish motherfuckers would hear me. <laughs> this will be good content right now, bro. Are you ever? Do you ever look? Are you ever just out in the real world and you're just like, damn, I could like use that to talk about on the podcast? Like, do you ever think about? I mean, that? I try, but usually it leaves me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't write it down or anything. Yeah, and it's not in the moment. Exactly, yeah, and it yeah. goes away, bro. Yeah, that's why, like, down. bro, setting yourself up in that environment where you're like you can push the trigger when you feel it is you have like that power you know what i'm saying true like i don't know it's like a little bit difficult when it comes to like podcasts and stuff but yeah you can apply that to like anything else that you can set true. up in your own place you know true yeah. damn well i mean i know we 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 would we would do our do our fair share of freestyling sometimes oh, and yeah. it's kind of funny me and this man we, we, <laughs> well just for jokes we, we, yeah. we, we would yeah, freestyle too i don't really try for real. <laughs> yeah. at hey, all you know, it's it's, but it's mainly me sometimes you know what I'm saying? sometimes he just play yeah. the beat you know and then i'll be i'll be going on it you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um Shit, we'll play a beat you know but i, I yeah i mean I, I low key i would i would i'll be down would you be down to freestyle down, for like it. quick like five minute session Fuck it, bro. but uh i also i wanted to also wanted to play the that one uh, verse I made on uh on your song. You remember? Mm. <laughs> Did you hear it? Of course you heard no, it. No, he heard it. Yeah, yeah. Play that shit. Play that shit. Well, I, I wanted to play it because I don't think I mean, um, you might as well play the full song, bro. Uh, f- do you, do you have your uh? I want I want to uh, wait. Would you would you be straight if we if we played like your your yeah. like, actual? But I don't have it though. Do you, do you have Which it? song was it again? Uh, right from the start. Okay. Yeah. I have like the 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 version the finished version. Did you want to? play that or you won't play the old one yeah no send me send me the vin- the finished version right now because that one has like that one don't have like an open verse oh really yeah um i can i can play like the uh, the mumble version <laughs> fuck it fuck do, you, yeah. do you have it uh, where you see what he has um, he has like a, the beginning of it right it's just like one part yeah, it's of him at talk. the beginning actually yeah, yeah it's just you at the beginning you have it right but nah, i have like just my version let me see See. We're gonna show every person that makes music this verse, bro. Because this is the second time we're showing somebody <laughs> that makes music this verse. <laughs> oh yeah, we should. Oh, we should be yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, do I have it, bro? Yeah, I mean, if not, it's cool. But I just wanted to play it just so it could be like. A, if now we can always talk about what happened with Drake. I mean, in uh, oh fuck, and his yeah. condo. I actually wanted to get into that. I forgot about that. Yeah, we were talking about Drake earlier. I know. Could have segued, you know. Oh, fuck, I know. I was trying. To. When he fucked a uh, that woman. You think that's smart? You think he's a go for that? That I'll respect him for. <laughs> so now he just learned from his mistakes. That's why. Let's see. That bad. Essentially, so like, yeah, you know, Drake, my man, was like, you know, piping his junk. You know what I'm saying? He said, let me put the condom on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what? Actually, never mind. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Yeah, we're recording, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Yeah. I thought it would be straight. Um, but yeah, nah, that that's that's insane. So what the fuck he do? He he put he put hot sauce in in his in his condom after he finished with yeah, the girl yeah, yeah, because yeah. he was because damn that's actually because because women are fucking insane. women are evil. Yeah, that's why. Like, why doesn't he just put in the toilet? Because he wants her to suffer. <laughs> he wants to, he wants her to know. Okay, so he knows that yeah, she's about good. to do it. No, he doesn't. But I mean, he does. I guess he might have that. Well, he, I mean, she did it, bro. So he had that gut feeling, probably. So then she like 
He just said, fuck it. I'm putting hot sauce in this. He's going to fucking get pregnant, bitch. Yo, uh, can you imagine, like, what kind of babies it will produce? <laughs> like some, some demon, like... Some demon babies? Dev- devil, like, fucking all, oh. all red. Bro, that gentleman would always be on fire. Like, your stomach would be permanently burning. That's insane. It's like a hot bro. sperm cell oh, that man. reaches your... I mean, I'm pretty sure yeah. the hot sauce probably, like, like uh, kills the sperm cells, probably. You think no, so? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, think so. I think so. I think so. I think so it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's not why he did it because just in case but he also puts. Imagine something. being at that level of status where fucking women get a fucking used condom and, and they put the fucking the sperm in themselves to 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 impregnate themselves just because they know the value. Crazy, you know bro. what I'm saying? People like that's crazy. insane. No, because that's the way. Bro. That's the quickest bag. Yeah, that is a bag, bro. What the? But fuck? think about that concept though. You're trying to get a bag by fucking. Con- like conceiving a child like going through so all like that either pain. work a nine to five for the rest of your life or bear a child for nine months and then never have to work a day of your life again Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the that's the offer right what there. the hell that's Damn, the contract bro. so your soul right there buddy that's insane bro what's the fine print just some baby father Wait, what, what would you tell that kid though like imagine being that mom be like oh yeah I was you were sperm in a condom and I shoved you in my vagina. That's why you're an Ivy League. Yeah. <laughs> that's, right. Like, yeah. that's why that's how we can afford all your fucking clothes, Damn. Jimmy. <laughs> that's why you're better than all your neighbors. <laughs> yes. Damn. That's a fucked up way of of like realizing yeah. your life. Hopefully yeah. I mean thankfully though, I mean I don't know if you want to share, but uh you are are you n- not single, right? But huh? Oh no, no, yeah. I'm not I'm not single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm cuffed, happily cuffed. cuffed. Yeah, happily cuffed. Good, yeah. but like, um, why? I mean, no, I'm just saying because, like, imagine like you were to get to like some status like that, and then like, like, what, what would you do in that situation if if some if if you were to come to find out like? I don't think I'll be in that position because like, yeah. I feel like hopefully not. But let's just look. I just create, say, I just say one thing. I feel like I feel like Drake did a great job of doing of putting this out this news to make people talk about it you yeah know what I'm yeah like, <laughs> i mean that's a fun that's funny bro honestly i think i would honestly if a girl did that and like or imagine somehow there was still like possible that the fucking sperm cell worked shit i would say fucking man i mean yeah. i would tell the child i'll be like bro you you came through some hot sauce somehow you made it so hey bro i feel like inevitably it would have came out like he didn't have to do anything how the fuck are you gonna explain getting hot sauce in your vagina? <laughs> how? Okay, how does Drake know that hot sauce eliminates the possibility? Oh, uh, I mean, there's no way it's not. That's not the first time he's had. Oh, yeah, it's definitely probably. not the first time, bro. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Isn't I'm that- saying he learned from his mistakes. Uh, all right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, he's right, learned right. from his mistakes. Yeah. You see, so honestly, he's definitely been through some shit like that to think yeah. of some evil thing like put hot sauce. I mean, regardless, she tried suing him. I mean, that's the wildest part. No, here's the thing. She like, tried suing him. Really? Yeah. No way. That's why he made it all public and stuff. Oh. Because she tried suing him for putting hot sauce in the condo. Oh. And yeah, Damn, she's that's mad. That's like some double. Thing. What? Yeah, I don't even understand how it made. No, I mean he's. There's no way she's gonna win. Like, there's no way oh, that's logically true. Like, fuck. She physically. That should be a crime trying to like. Yeah. Take someone's baby. Fuck man, women, bro. That's some crazy bad shit. Women, dog. So there was this video I wanted to react to. Oh yeah, is it on? But it's YouTube? not on YouTube, bro. Oh, I shit. can't find it because I think they deleted it because it's probably like the most insane thing I've ever seen. No way. Like you know how there's terms of service and right, like they just like treading on water like yeah. the whole entire time. Was like, it on TikTok? Nah, nah. So like, what the fuck? These this woman, right? It's essentially I'm gonna lay it out. There's these two kids playing bas, two black dudes playing basketball. One's in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And then another one, whatever, normal, just playing basketball. This woman just walks by, white lady. She's like, I don't want these fucking hood rat criminals in my neighborhood. Like, yeah, just the most race, like, up front. Like, it just Damn. smacks you in the face, right? Like, it's, it's, it's bullshit. You guys know what Darman is? Never heard of Darman? Nah. Uh, it's like, essentially, there's fake plot videos, you know, to, like, teach a lesson at the end of it. And mm. the acting is, like, so intentionally bad, I think, on purpose. <laughs> oh. So she's like, look at those corruptible hood rats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all okay. staged. Like, you're, yeah, you're yeah, supposed yeah. to know, because the serve, the turret, like, all right, it's supposed to cross the terms of service because it serves as an educational video. Oh. So that's why. But they're doing, but it's just so insane. So later on, right? So she sees them. She goes up to him. She's like, leave. I'm going to call the fucking cops. You think they're going to believe some black people like you? Hell no. They're gonna, yeah. And then they're like, all right, whatever. <laughs> they leave. Sheesh. <laughs> She takes their basketball and then <laughs> she steals it. She's like, you think they're gonna believe you? <laughs> and, all right, then they, and then it's whatever, next scene. It's like the guy in the wheelchair is like rowing, rowing home into his home, right? Yeah. And his mom's there. She's like, what's wrong, honey? 
she talks to him like a little kid and he's like bro he's like in high school bro like he looks like he's in high school yeah. anyway wait is this one of the black kids no yeah it's Yo, a black kid they're both black kids oh, it's only okay. the white woman oh. but now he's talking to his mom okay and then she was like well, are you okay like she noticed that something's wrong yeah. and he's like no nah, this woman was being hella racist and all that stuff she's t- telling her about it she's like don't let anybody be racist to you and i like, stick up for yourself blah 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 call me if you ever need if she ever does this again and then go and then she gave her like a present like another basketball like later on in the day like here you go jimmy or some shit <laughs> next day comes right they're like fuck it bro we're playing basketball fuck this white woman i don't give a shit about her racism we're going my mom told me to stick up for myself <laughs> so they go the woman's there again. She's like, oh, my God, they're back again. I can't believe these fucking, like, she says the most racist shit, like, pretty much to say the N-word at this point. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're, you're, you're not saying it. Yeah. Like, it would be more common for somebody to just actually just say the hard R if they're going to be racist than yeah. to fucking say, like, the most outrageous yeah. right, other descriptor. You know Adjec- what I'm saying? Adjectives. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, I kid you not. She walks up to them. She's like, I thought I told you guys to leave, and I'm going to teach you a lesson. She's a whip. Oh my god. What? And she starts whipping the black kid in the wheelchair, bro. What? I'm not lying. This was a video on so YouTube, this is scripted, bro. Though? Bro, it's scripted. It's like it's like a it's supposed to play as like a scene. It's like you know? one of those videos they play at like um like yeah. like you know how they play like, like the, the, the health videos. Yeah, those health like, videos, yeah, yeah, exactly. When you just roll it in on the yeah, TV yeah. screen, you know, on that little thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so funny. Bro. It's like that. And it's like what? But I just wanted to just, I just wanted to show you it, but yeah. it's impossible. Where the hell did you see that, bro? It's, it was literally on YouTube, bro. It was what? on YouTube. It's like this YouTube channel that dedicates itself to doing these types of videos, what where the like fuck? they're pushing boundaries. Like that's how far they have to go to get views. Like they're only making that insane scenario yeah. to get views because that's and nobody crazy. else would watch that shit otherwise, because obviously that's not even realistically racist. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Who the fuck whips people in yeah, fucking yeah, 2022? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So their, so their purpose for that was to educate? Yeah. Or, or was it be to... Like, be kind. Don't be racist to one another. Stick up for <laughs> yourself. Like entertain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stick up for yourself or what if, if it was like what if, bashing you. Or what if at the end it was like, oh, it's just a prank. It's just for prank. <laughs> Oh, bro, Son. I think you're too deep at that point, <laughs> man. Like, I would have fight somebody at that point. Bro, do you remember that era and on, on YouTube? The fucking... Uh, yeah, like, like pranking and Vitaly. You yeah, know? all those... Bro, did you ever watch, like, YouTube at that? It's crazy. I seen a video on YouTube on fucking, like, this dude just talking about the, it was like a little mini documentary on like the whole like prank era and like bro i used to be like deep into that like it was so entertaining at yeah. the time just like bro you, i used to bro in middle school i used to watch this one dude i don't know if you knew his name was prank invasion you know him it's bro like, yeah, i know the name but i've never watched like, that was that was what he would do bro he would go up to so i mean at the time i'm like fucking what like 12 13 i think it's real he would go up to girls and just ask them like oh like would you do this and, and then like for a kiss or something and then like he would just kiss girls oh i remember yeah. it was like the middle eastern looking dude right i don't That's know if Fousey. he was middle eastern but no, is he bald no, no, not that dude <laughs> no, 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 no. it was another guy he had like he was he looked white i mean he could have been middle eastern i don't fucking know but, okay but his yeah. whole thing was like he would just like kiss girls but like of course it was that shit was fake he yeah was, you, know, you know what i'm saying right. but like yeah bro i don't know like that whole era was actually insane because like you would just see more people doing like wild ass shit just cause like everyone was trying to one up each other yeah. you know do more like wild pranks like I would see motherfuckers go like in the hood and like fucking like say the n-word you know what I'm saying and like they would get like you know their ass you know what I shit. realized I'm just having this epiphany right now what as times change and there's more restriction mm-hmm. the more outlandish shit gets cause like the wild shit that was happening in those prank videos and stuff is not as wild as a woman whipping black kids yeah. in 2022 in a video you know what i'm saying mm. like but youtube has become so strict within like their standards and stuff like that where back in the day nobody's thinking of like how they can be fucked up get views but also stay within the terms of service you know what i'm saying yeah so nobody's thinking that way like nobody's gonna push that bar until the bar's raised is what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like innocent, like we're innocent normally, like maybe we'll do some fucked up shit, but like those fucked up pranks where like they touch girls' asses, like, you know, yeah. like, because that was one of them. I, <laughs> oh, I, really? Yeah, oh. I don't know. I think it was like Sam Pepper. He was just like, oh, touch, that like he was touching girls' asses yeah. without consent and shit. Oh, like he had like a fake hand or something. Oh. And then he would touch, like, it was, I don't even know how, it was just a weird contraption. Yeah, but he got He was like canceled. talking to them and then like it would touch their butt, bro. And they felt like sexually assaulted. Yeah, it was wild, bro. Yeah. See how that wouldn't fly now? But he Back got in the day, he got canceled whatever. though, I think. Yeah, right. Nah, yeah, he did get canceled. Yeah. And he's only getting more and more canceled every 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 year, Shit. bro. He did crypto scams last year. He did oh everything, bro. God. He's the worst oh. guy ever. Anyway, but you see how like the bar is like 
Holy nobody would have done that back in the day because it wasn't it was kind of allowed you know damn bro. but now shit is not as allowed but we still want that controversy so mm-hmm. like motherfuckers are doing that unrealistic shit damn bro yeah. i don't know i was just trying to put a correlation between like yeah, yeah, yeah. restrictions yeah. of shit yeah, and like, yeah no i definitely see your and point. like where we're willing to go i don't yeah, know yeah, i definitely see your point for i sure. just maybe didn't word it that well no nah, yeah. I, I, I see I, I see where you're i see where you're where you're going but like so where where do you think are we, are we heading it like more into well now i feel like people don't give a fuck at all dude people are doing that they don't give a fuck they're gonna yeah. find a way to like say the fucked up shit regardless yeah they already are right there they're just doing it more censored i guess yeah. i don't know yeah they're gonna find they're gonna find a way bro more creative way to be controversial yeah more creative <laughs> ways to do racism and stuff bro it's kind of crazy shit well i mean i think we're going into fucking crazy times right now bro I'll, I'll say, bro. I, I swear the end is near, son. <laughs> this is every, I think how many episodes has it been since, since he's been saying that, bro? It, he's been saying that in like the last ten episodes or yeah, something. The end is bro, near, man. I, I swear, the end is near. I stamp, bro. I mean, I'm trying to prepare for it mentally, wow. mentally and spiritually. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if it were to end right now, you'd be okay. Yeah, I actually would. I actually would. Like be. in this second, Ed, yeah. God bro. just fucking opened the bro, sky. What, what am I, bro? I'm doing like what I love, bro. We're just talking homie right here no goodbyes to your fam nothing. i mean nothing no out. just right now you're going <laughs> yeah ufo shot up <laughs> into this guy just, yeah damn yeah i damn. don't know i feel like i want to live a little more i mean i want to experience yeah, bro, life but like shit i don't i mean i don't know if i want to live in a fucking virtual reality world i like getting yeah. touched then don't do it but like bro i mean I don't know. What, what are your What are your thoughts on that? Like, you know, the whole metaverse and, and shit. Man, it's deep. I think I think it's like deeper than what people like perceive it to be. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I think we're inevitably heading there. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I think like they've been mentally preparing us for that. You know, that's why people are so okay like going into this. Yeah. But uh, it's TikTok just... programmed us, right? Huh? TikTok programmed us, right? TikTok. They made us okay with just movies, being on the electronics for so long. Like movies has predicted a lot of a lot of these oh, things. Yeah. You know what I mean? And True. I think Fucking I think it's just deeper yeah. than like what people think it is. You know? I mean, can you imagine like mi- like billions of people in like in a in a, in a program? I mean, the, the one thing I can think of that's like that is Facebook. Yeah. Right? Like mm-hmm. Facebook is already like got so many people's data but this is like taking it to another level bro billions of consciousness like in 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 a, in a platform being controlled Fuck. <laughs> i don't know i don't know bro that's uh, it sounds lit for real for real <laughs> i can't we're gonna be some lit ass like virtual orgy uh, true bro you can live raves you can live your naked desires raves, bro. there that's the problem though you know what i mean it's like you could live out your whole fantasy that is a problem because like the fear the physical material shit we're not gonna need no more because we're already gonna have that dopamine injected to us every second of the day in there because we already are fulfilled times more bro that's even insane. though it's not and it's never gonna be truly enough because it's not actually fulfilling you know what I'm right saying? it's gonna be this emptiness that you feel yeah. still no matter what accomplishments you yeah. do in the metaverse yeah it's just a void that goes on forever but the thing is is that it's an endless amount of dopamine they can get like stimulation through fucking like imagine how much can be yeah. done on on the on, on online and metaverse bro like people program are fucking making shit you know what i'm saying like bro that i, I can't get over that fucking video you sent me bro on, on the dude spray painting oh for real like that looks so real bro that's insane and like having all those colors like dude i would fucking go crazy doing that shit. you would actually just spend hours in the middle yeah literally bro you'll starve yourself for real bro you'd be like <laughs> you ever see the south park where they play world of warcraft um, oh yeah yeah <laughs> and, they, and they have to like take shits yeah, and take shits in there yeah. <laughs> oh, i haven't seen that like, <laughs> their mom would shit. come <laughs> behind them like there you go honey bro yeah. i mean you see you're, you're like like you might be on something bro like we've been like prepared they've been they've been preparing us for like a while now yeah. We're desensitized, even mm. not even not even means. to technology, but like even like the plane crashes and all these different things. Like when we hear another news about something, we're just like, oh, oh, okay. But back yeah. then, you hear that, you're like, whoa, like what the fuck, bro? Yeah. Like, it really hurts you for like a week, but now you just get over it and like, shit. I think it's just because it's oversaturated. So like, that's what I'm saying. There's not enough time for to let things linger. Because nah. the next one already happened, chip shit, you know, and it's already reported. That's what I'm saying. We're living in that era of just like it's the fast world. It's yeah, just bro. Next, move, next, next. Move on. It's like some dude. So, is there any way to stop it? There's literally no way to stop it. Right? And capitalism. I mean, it's like I think 
I think the one of the biggest reasons why we're you know we're being programmed. One of the best ways to program is through like media. Like media are fo focusing on these things. You know what I'm saying? Like they could they don't they don't have to. You know what I mean? But but it's because every most people most average people spend how much time on on online and media. But some motherfuckers gonna do it. That's what I'm saying. People some are attracted are to neg negative media more than positive. Like you'll you, yeah, you know you'll get like true. a viral. If something happens to this person, you know, da, 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 I mean, it's just like, like what we talk about. We're, we're talk, we fucking talk about Drake putting fucking hot sauce in, in the condom, and then like now the the the, the woman wants to sue her That's or him. Insane, you know I'm saying we're not talking about like fucking. Um, I mean, we did talk about his good stuff first, though. Right? That's true, actually. Yeah, but I, I, I guess my my point was just that that, that is that is true that most yeah. people are. I'm a dickhead. Are um, desensitized. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that means, but. It's like yeah. brainwash to think it's okay. Like it's all right. Like oh, you know what I mean? Like damn. Like being okay with being a sheep, basically. Being being okay. Like there's a saying is like they're trying to they're trying to bring us to a a new generation where they say like you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Damn, bro. Have you ever seen Fight Club? Yeah. 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 I was gonna give you an example of desensitized. Oh, what is it? Like imagine like you ever see those videos of, like the cartel like just chopping off heads and stuff. Uh huh. Like oh yeah, the first time like some like, like you see that naturally as a human you're like what the fuck like it's hard to see that those yeah. fools are desensitized to doing that because they've seen it so many times oh. so they've done it so much they don't feel their it. brain yeah their yeah. brain themselves has no like emotion yeah emotion to that action Damn. anymore you know that's crazy so that's a kind of what it is okay that they remove the emotion from the action I guess oh. I don't know. all right well damn I learned a new word that's fire or maybe they attributed a new emotion with that action now it's like what if they feel just like hate joy or oh. yeah or hate or joy with that shit like that you know what I'm saying that's weird bro but the motherfuckers are out there like fuck sorry to end it like that bro I'm sorry yeah that's crazy sorry to end it like that yeah that's I mean crazy, yeah this well this has been um episode 45. 45. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, to the boy. Global Asian. Thank you to the boy. Asian. Asian. Yeah. I got you, man. Yeah. Sure. Um, but yeah, this has been uh, episode 45. And um, we thank you guys if you tuned in for the brother here. Definitely we'll put up his, all his handles for the yeah, couple. Follow uh, his stuff. Yeah. Listen to his stuff. Yes, sir. For sure. I appreciate you guys for having mm -hmm. me. Oh, yeah. Oh, you and, got any uh, stuff you want to, you know, plug up? Maybe you got closing words or something? Coming soon or. Um, hmm. I mean, I know I have a lot of plans this year. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest things um, going moving forward this year is, like, not letting the outside circumstance hinder us from trying to get to our goal. You know, yeah, I know yeah. we're, we're living in, we're talking about we're living in a crazy yeah, world it's tough today. times right now, especially. Yeah, we're living in tough times, but yeah. it's how you perceive it, right? So, True. you know, uh, if I could say one message to everybody who's watching this, um, Focus on your inner self, you know what I'm saying? Don't focus on the outside noise, because the only noise that matters is what you sit here. So. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. So thank you That's guys. Perfect, yo. We love you so much. Thank Whoever's you. watching. Peace. And uh, yeah. Bye-bye. Stay tuned. <laughs>